I'm actually on the road and we're having our IG live. <laughs> Hi Agatha, thank you so much for joining. So sorry na cancel yung IG live kahapon. Kasi we had an unexpected incident. Hi Justin, thank you so much for joining today's session. Um siguro one hour lang tayo today. We'll see how the conversation goes. But the topic for today is essential oils at the time of quarantine. So, uh, last time, ang dinescuss natin is about the new norm. Ngayon naman, how, how can your oils help you with your mental health, with your self-care routine? And especially now that we are all preparing for what is yet to come, right? Yung mga iba yung username, just introduce yourselves kasi hindi ko alam yung first name nyo. Like, 30-ish Life Wanderer. Hi, Karen! Thank you so much for joining. As usual, you can just send in your questions all throughout the session. The more you send your questions... Oh! We have your... Dinala ko yung oils for Apple. Kasi feeling ko na... Nasa daan pa ako. Well, well we're gonna have this IG life. Wait. Okay. So, here are your oils for Apple. These are sent by Zalaroma two days ago. So yeah, thank you so much Zalaroma for always being so generous. Um, and then, if you join me on my next IG live, here's another good news. Casa de Lorenzo naman will be sponsoring the raffle for the next episode. So, I'm excited to give away all those three oils. Um, the Zalaroma ones are all 15 ml. So, merong rosemary, merong... Lavender and the long feet orange. So four winners for today. So start shooting in your questions. It's already 204. Um simulan na natin. Oils for anxiety. Um my favorite for anxiety. Actually, I feel now for anxiety, iba iba shopper depending on the user, depending on you. So for me, what helps for me is ilang ilang lavender and seed orange. Yun yung favorite ko. Um, other people find it better if they use grounding oils. Grounding oils such as cedarwood, vetiver. Um, ang, sometimes I've heard people using vetiver, bergamot, and lavender. But for me, ang gusto kong combination is ilang-ilang seed orange and lavender. Hindi ako masyado mahilig sa grounding oils. Um, when we say grounding oils, these are yung musky ones usually from root oils and these are medyo heavy pero they keep you grounded in a way na parang it helps you find your center parang ganyan emotionally um mentally it helps you find your center para mas zen mas peaceful but to some people like myself i'm not really drawn towards grounding oils okay next question thing oh hello hi marie thank you so much for joining yes Zalaroma and Casa de Lorenzo because I think they've seen the IG live session so they want to be a part of it. They want to, you know, have you guys try their oils as well because they have also good oils. Okay, other questions please? And then you can also ask your friends who would want to learn more about oils to join the session today. Um, just lang kasi yung phone ko na may net because we are on the road but I hope you tell your friends that we are live right now. Wala na rin akong time to ano, simultaneous broadcast to EOP. So, if you can... Okay. <laughs> Kala ko na-excite ka lang, Karen. Eh. Okay, so just shoot in your questions. Um, yesterday morning, I was actually attending a Zoom training. Okay. Are we live again? Okay, great. Hi, Karen. Effective pa ba mag-apply ng oil sa bottom ng feet? Very effective. And also very safe, for example, for people with high sensitivity, like kids, mas ideal sa soles of your feet. Um, also, your feet and your hands, actually. But your feet also, meron siyang, each point has a representation to a different part of your body. That's what we call the Vitaflex points. Um, even in acupuncture practice, they also learn about that. Kasi nga, yung buong um, dimension ng paamo, it represents a specific part of your body. So to your question, yes, it's effective to apply it 
uh, at the bottoms of your feet. If you try to Google Vitaflex point, you can easily check out kung ano yung part ng feet mo na nagre-represent to which, which or whatever part of your body. Oo nga, eh, nawala ko sa'yo nga, I'm still moving. So, medyo naputol siya, nag-pause. But, we're still live. Hi, Marie! Danessa Marie, thank you so much for joining. Um, yan, mas nakikita ko yung questions nyo kasi the phone is just on arm length for me. Hindi ko gaya last time nasa tripod. <laughs> medyo mahirap kaya nagsasquint ako. So, just shoot in your questions. As I was saying, yesterday morning, I was having a conference call with Amy Galber, who is also the founder of New York Institute of Aromatic Studies, where I got my certification. And because of the changes um, with what's going on in New York, uh, the school has stopped their operations. So, buti na lang nakagraduate na ako. Dahil wala na yung school. Eh. They told me na they've stopped um, the operations because yun yung epicenter ng COVID there. And uh, right now, I think they're only doing online classes. So, not I don't really know anyone else who's taking the certification under my school. So, I really don't know who is affected. But, yun, wala nang, wala na. They, nobody can enroll anymore kasi nga, wala na yung school. Um, and also, we talked about um, essential oils and uh, basta parang plant-powered beauty yung topic. So, I was thinking, if you guys are also up to it, um, I will be offering online, I guess, online sessions or online courses for essential oils. But these are paid. Kasi parang mas marami na siyang data, mas marami siyang scientific coverage. It's not just like this na parang one-on-one -on -one questions lang. Um, it's sort of a mini course that you will take, for example, X number of hours for a certain topic. So, are you guys up for that? Okay ba sa inyo yun? Na we'll have those kinds of lessons? I do have some. Um, it's on my Patreon. But I haven't really like sit down on it. Kasi parang dapat uupuan mo siya with a specific topic, with a specific courses or syllabus. Um, so, if you guys are also interested to have those things, maybe I can also like plan for that. Um, we can have different topics kasi parang meron sa inyo may gusto ng essential oils for babies we can also discuss that essential oils for for example um, cosmetic ingredients or cosmetic formulations we can also discuss that um, basta parang ganun so it's a per episode kind of thing but it, it will it is a, a paid um, session so may bayad siya and then you will have your handouts um, there's also an activity part where you will have to make things. That's the tricky part. Because eh? if we put that activity part, then dapat meron kayo student's kit. So, I'm still planning on how to do that. Because ngayon, ECQ, medyo mahirap also to get the raw materials. So, I do have some in my office in Quezon City. Of course, I will make it very affordable. Um, you know what? My sessions with my mentor, it costs me minimum of 20 to $50 every time. Of course, it's not going to be like that. I, I'll try as much as possible to make it very affordable for you guys. Especially for you, like Agatha and the people who are really, um, who, who have been with me. Like, who have been to my in-person classes anywhere, kahit sa Gordos, kahit dun sa studio sa QC. I always try to make it affordable and reasonable. Um, yun. So, I'm, that's what I'm trying to look into right now. Na maganda sana kung may kit. So, we can do the activities together. I think that's fun. Also, maganda rin na merong oils mismo dun sa kit. Because like, there are oils na what if wala kayo sa bahay, then hindi nyo magagawa yung activity, right? So, that's the goal. That's what I'm trying to do right now. Na to formulate all these mini seminars or mini talks na you can also partake in while you are at home. Insights about candle making. Okay, so I actually have my candle making course on my Patreon. Um, the problem with Patreon is monthly in charge niya. So what you do is you enroll today, pero you have to unsubscribe before the end of the month or before the 30th of the month. Then it's okay, hindi ka naman charge. Besides, you only have to learn it once, di ba? So it's easy. Um, if you want to learn about candle making, I have a very beginner-friendly course 
about it. Meron din siyang handouts. Alam ko may upload akong handouts. So, what's good about Patreon is you can actually upload handouts there. Meron siyang parang maker's notes, parang ganyan. So, you can just enroll with that. I'll send you the link after this session. And then I also have like, ayun, meron siyang notes. So, meron siyang mga tips and whatever you, you need to learn about. Um, the ingredients for candle making is very easy. You can get it from Shopee, most of it. And then my personal tips are in the maker's notes sa Patreon. So I'll just send you the link. You don't have to subscribe every month. You can just unsubscribe before the 30th. Okay, thank you so much for joining Maggie, Karen, Celeste. Yeah, so just please shoot in your questions while we are live. Right now it's already 2.14. We are 14 minutes in. Um, depending on your questions. Oh, and make sure to ask questions. Kasi sayang yung giveaway ng Zalaruma. Apat to. Four of you guys can win today. Sayang. And these are all brand new and sealed. Um, okay. Meron nagtanong sa akin last time. Na okay ba yung Zalaruma? Okay, of course it's okay. It's okay in a sense that Zelleroma is one, I think if not the only, local brand na merong GCMS certification. Para hindi tayo gan slide. It's the only brand, Filipino brand, na merong GCMS certification. Um, Casa de la Ronza is still working on their paperwork, but I'm sure they're gonna be getting it soon. But Zelleroma already has. That's why I trust them. Also, this is very accessible. You can always get your Zelleroma through Lazada through Shopee, through Gordos. Gordos is also delivering now. If you want to have the instructions, meron din ako. I can send it also later. Um, hi, Vanessa. What are the oils good for insomnia? Okay. For insomnia, there are oils that can help you. Like, lavender is the number one oil for insomnia, but, but not everyone likes lavender. Like ako, I try to stay away na from lavender. Um, what else? Sweet orange is also good. Bergamot is also helpful. Cedarwood is helpful. Um, ano pa ba? Ilang ilang also is a sedative oil. Marami. There's also uh, there's a wide range of oils that you can use to help you sleep. Usually, lavender lang ginagamit ng tao. Like in normal sleep blends, it's only lavender, cedarwood, sweet orange. Sometimes they put ilang ilang because not everyone likes ilang ilang. So there. Whatever that you have in your collection, usually naman meron ka na nun. Lavender is very common. Cedarwood is very common. How about yung now? I also love now. I buy my now essential oils from Gordo. Oh no, not Gordo. Sorry. True Value. So, they have it in 30 ml. Sometimes they have the 15 ml. But usually, malalaki yung meron sila. Sometimes they have 120 ml pa nga malalaki. Now, it's also an okay brand. Um, Meron din silang purity test on their website. So, it's also okay. And it's affordable. Next, ano po ang magandang oil blends na nakakapag-remind sa inyo sa beach and four seasons? Okay, for the beach, I like mixing in lemongrass, spearmint, and... Yeah, I think... Lemongrass and spearmint is okay. You should try that. You can also use lemongrass, spearmint, and peppermint. It's very refreshing. Four seasons, maybe you can use, I'd say, vetiver. You can put in lime. And you can put in spearmint. Spearmint, is all, spearmint and lime is always a good mix. Para parang summer. And then vetiver, para meron kang konting grounding oil. Para hindi siya mabilis mag evaporate. So you should try that. Okay? And then let me know kung ano yung comment mo when you've tried it. Because iba-iba, when we mix things, sometimes iba yung parang top note na nakukuha mo versus how I smell it. So it's always good to compare notes. Kaya pag, um, whenever I'm having an in-person class, for example, sa Gordos before, or for example, even sa studio, when people start mixing it, hindi para paraho yung unang scent na naaamay nila. And that's what's amazing about it. Like for me, if you have a blend na merong ilang-ilang, I'd most probably pick it up first. But for the other people, pwedeng hindi yun yung una nilang naamoy. So when you do those mixes, please let me know your comment. If you like them, if hindi. And then, maybe we can work around that. 
can go shoot in your questions or invite your friends that were already live right now. Yan, may checkpoint lang. Is Progesense Plus worth buying? Of course it is! Wait, I also have my Progesense here because it's always in my purse. Okay. Wait. Ayan. So here is my Progesense Plus. My nth number of Progesense Plus. Um, it's 2.5 I think or less. A little less than that. More than 2,000, less than 2.5. And I use this. Tagal na nito. Um, I use this normally Sometimes I dilute it Sometimes when I feel I need it na neat I just use like this um, If you dilute it, it will last you for a year But ako, I don't um, Especially when I have, I'm having hormonal acne I like using it na nandito lang Anyway, this bottle is already blended So hindi siya Hindi na siya puro It's totally safe to use as is But if you want to stretch your budget a little, kung gusto mo para mas sulit, you can always dilute this. Okay lang din. Um, for most of the time, okay siya sa akin ng diluted. But, um, right now, sometimes kasi I'm having, like, breakouts, I like using it neat. Neat, quoted and quote neat. But it's not really neat kasi diluted na to. Meron na siyang uh, FCO. Um, I use this every morning. But whenever I feel that, you know, my hormones are acting up, I use it morning and night. Hi Venus, thank you so much for joining. Please invite your friends that we are already live right now. Um, shoot in your questions so that you guys can get a chance to win your Zellerum oils. Okay, so um, part of my discussion with Amy yesterday morning was um, how do you use your oils as a as a supplement to your personal needs, whether emotional, whether mental, or physical. So, from your inside, emotional and mental, to your physical needs. At this time, when people are usually suffering from anxiety, other uh, manifestations of stress are sometimes meron silang rhinitis, sometimes biglang parating may migraine. So, these are the things that your oils can help you um, in aiding those symptoms, right? For, marami ako nakikita na people asking, what can you use for rhinitis or more allergies or biglang nagkakapantal? It's some, it is sometimes caused by stress as well. So with that, kagaya yung tinanong kanina, um, you can use oils for anxiety like lavender is always very basic and very good, very accessible. Um, if you are intermediate user na, you can always play around with expensive and rose uh, other oils that you can use for anxiety bergamot is a popular choice others use also vetiver but I'm not really into vetiver ako okay na sa akin yung orange ilang ilang and lavender um, for allergic rhinitis use oils that would help support your respiratory function for kids go with spearmint Go for pine, go for spruce, uh, what else? Go for cedarwood and juniper, all kids safe oils. For people who are older or adult, you can always use eucalyptus. Eucalyptus is very good. You can use peppermint. You can use, what else? Raven, Raven Sara, okay din yun. And then yun, kahapon I also attended yung Young Living parang product launch nila for the RC. RC is already available in the Philippines. It's also a very good blend for kids. Kids 6 and above. Because I think meron din siyang eucalyptus. Okay, question from Maggie. In-apply nyo direct sa face oil for your acne? No, no, no. Yeah, naman sa inyo. For you guys who reserved your 2 o'clock time slot for me. Yan. Can you guys see me? Yan. Nag-switch na kasi ako to I'm back home. Sorry. Ayan. Sorry. I'm just moving back to the room. And I'm trying to... Ayan. I'm trying to ice the setup. So, I am back. I'm back to my seat. 
Ayan. So if you have any other questions, please shoot them now. <laughs> oh, ngayon nagpo-pause. But we're, we're back now. I just uh, connected to our Wi-Fi sa bahay. Kakarating ko lang kasi ulit. Ayan. Okay. <laughs> para nandito yung mga raffle. Also, may pinadala yung Zalaroma na mga bagong this one. Yung bago nilang blend. So, maybe we can check it together. Hindi ko pa siya siya check Kasi I wanted to open it sana during the session and I wanted to discuss it together with you. Okay? So, the first blend that they sent me is wala siyang title but there are the oil like compositions there. So there's peppermint, lemon, and rosemary. Let's try to sniff this. Oh, this smells so good. This combination is actually perfect for people with rhinitis. You can also use this if you have any congestion because the minty part of it is really like out there. Hmm, so nice. But my favorite among the three is this one. Um, peppermint, bergamot, and spearmint. Wala siyang title. It's just the mix of the oils in here. And as far as I know, this is at 5% dilution. So, okay naman siya. It's pretty safe for everyone. Also, the oils that we use, that the company used, is pretty safe for everyone. Oh, ba to? Super. Hi, Mr. B. 8 ounce na tin can in candle making. Try ako maglagay ng 1 tablespoon of lavender oil. Maamoy siya super while mixing. Pero nung nilight ko yung candle na wala yung amoy. Because, he's, okay. Um, honestly, when you are making your scented candles, it's better if you use fragrance oils. Kasi yung essential oil, ang kalaban niya is heat, sunlight, and oxygen. So when you, whenever you're using it for your candles, it's actually counterintuitive. Kasi parang sinusunog mo lang yung essential oil. Kaya hindi mo siya naamoy. Okay yung cold throw niya in candle making term. Cold throw yung pag hindi mo siya iniilaw. Pero hot throw niya, virtually wala ka na talagang maamoy. And with that, with our scented candles, I always advise my students to use na lang a good, a nice graded fragrance oil. Um, we have it available under Lish. It's my sister's um, brand. It's the first phthalate-free um, fragrance oil here in the Philippines. It's available at our studio. And it's very affordable. It's European grade. And uh, meron siyang MSDS if you want. Kasi meron na mga students all the way from Bohol, all the way from the province who really buy it from us in, in bulk. So if like you, if you're turning it into a business, we also have that available in one liter. Meron coming one liter, I think. Or 500 ml, I think. But yun, if you have like requests, on what kind of scent that you want, it's always available in our studio in Quezon City. Okay, ano po ang recommended na amount of oil na ilalagay sa 8 ounce candles? It's part of the coverage in our um, candle making course. So we can enroll there, and after that, um, if you have further questions, we can always discuss it offline. Okay? Kaya pala, no brand ng fragrance oil? I recommend Lish. It's the first talent free fragrance oil brand here in the Philippines. Okay? What's the brand again? Which brand? Brand of what? Are we talking about this or are we talking about other things? Uh, okay. So, ito yung second in my call. This is actually my favorite. It's peppermint, bergamot, and spearmint. This smells like summer. Yung may nagtanong kanina kung ano yung amoy ng summer and beaches. You should try this. It smells perfect for summer. Reese. Kaya pala, when I tried, walang scent. Yes. So now you know. You, you know the logic behind it or the science behind it. Kasi I noticed like with most of the people, especially when you check out Pinterest, when you check out Google, I'm sure sa Google yung nakita yung information yan. And everybody will just tell you na, yeah, you can totally use essential oils, blah, blah, blah. It's not true, guys. You are just wasting your oils. You're wasting your expensive oils. Wala rin kayo nakukuhang output. Kasi nga, every time you burn your oils, kaya nga we are using um, sonic uh, diffusers, right? Ultrasonic diffusers. Because these, walang heat involved in these diffusers. But whenever you're using your essential oils, 
yung pure essential oils mo, like your Young Living, try to use them with your oil burners. Yung oil burners ng mga 90s, wala kayong maamoy. Like yung mga ganito, these expensive oils, you use them with your oil burners, parang sinusunog nyo lang yung pera nyo. These essential oils are very, very different from the essential oils that we had in the 90s because usually yung mga ginagamit natin noon, natin ko 100 pesos na ganyan kalaki sa Green Hills. These are, those are fragrance oils. And fragrance oils are really meant to be burned. Those are meant to, I guess, um, withstand heat. And the, actually, some of those, pag ininit mo, mas lumalabas yung amoy. But for these essential oils, itong mga pure essential oils natin, like Zelaroma, like um, Young Living, like Casa de Lorenzo, when you try to heat them, a lot of them magiging mawawala yung amoy. Dapat, hindi siya tini Dapat you don't treat them with heat kasi nasisira siya. Okay? Next question. Fragrance oil, Gen Low, fragrance oil, Lish. Um, you can go to at Lish Artisanal Soaps. And then they have a list of their fragrance oils there that are all phthalate free. Phthalate is an endocrine disruptor that you should stay away from. Uh, kasi it, bango, kasi it um, messes with your metabolism, it messes with your um, bodily functions. And sometimes, kaya ka nagkaka-hyperthyroidism or hypothyroidism because of these. Um, these endocrine disrupting endocrine disrupting components sa mga chemicals, sa mga artificial um, scents. Where ako mag-order? Pwede mag-send ng link. Yes, I will send you the link later. Don't worry. You can also check out at Lish Artisanal Soaps. Dane, what's your least favorite diffuser from YL? I think I've, I've shared this last time. Ayoko talaga yung um, Desert Mist kasi it's bulky. Um, others like it kasi Wait, paabot na lang na tripod. <laughs> Others like it kasi parang elegant daw. It's girly. But there are other better choices now. Like, the blue one. The blue one is really nice. Lalayo ko lang sa tripod. Hold on. Okay. So, the blue one is really nice from Young Living. Also, the Owl um, diffuser is my favorite. And the best one, yung Teardrop. Dewdrop. Dewdrop is like the first one that I have, so it's always very sentimental to have that. Yun lang. Ang pinakaayo ko lang yung Desert Mist. Kasi I feel it's bulky, and sometimes I feel na yung body na a little too flimsy. Yan. But they're all, uh, they all work the same. They all work perfectly with your pure essential oils. And then may nagtanong din last time, if you can mix Young Living Oils with other brands, of course you, of course you can. I do it a lot. I do it all the time. I'm sure your teammate or I'm sure your enroller will tell you hindi pwede, but I'm gonna tell you up front, pwede, pwede, pwede. Okay? Next, Dane. What's the difference between fragrance oil and essential oil? Fragrance oils are usually synthetics. These are what's being used normally in um, in the fragrance industry kasi para lang mapababa yung cost so that the formulation is more economical. Um, essential oils are very heat sensitive. Some of them degrade, most of them degrade, and most of them um, disintegrate or nasisira siya talaga when exposed to heat. So, pansin niyo, meron namang mga papangon na matagal, mag-last, matagal yung life span niya. It's because they're most likely synthetics. They're most likely um, fragrance oils. Um, maybe in the 1800s, I have this book about um, perfumery and essential oils. Maybe in the 1800s, ginagamit pa ng perfume industry yung real essential oils like the Young Living Creates, yung talagang from the plants to the, to, the, to the perfume bottles. It's because wala pa yung technology of them copying it uh, through synthetics. Kaya ginagamit talaga nila yung flower essences. Um, they do enfleurage. When you say enfleurage, they pick out all these fresh flowers and then they get the petals. Tapos nilalagay nila yung sa thin sheet of animal fat. And you can use tallow uh, from beef, or you can even use lard from pigs. So they do that. They use, it's a very um, labor-intensive and very expensive way of getting plant extractions or the fragrance from plants. But that's what they do it, that's how they do it before. Kaya very uh, precious and mahal yung perfume before. Kasi matrabaho siya. They get, kanya, roses. And pinapatong nila yan sa layer of animal fat. And then, ipapato ulit nila, um, okay, so fat, the petal, and then fat ulit. Parang, it's a sandwich nila yun in between animal fat 
And then, the fat kasi, since the essential oil components are actually lipophilic, meaning it's attracted to fatty substances, kaya na parang nahihigop na mamagnet ng layers of animal fat, whatever plant um, essence that's within that petal. So, pag nakuha na, tatanggalin na yung petal, yung animal fat, yun yung ipaprocess nila. Kapag tinunaw nila yun, maghihiwala yung plant essence and yung fat, and then they will just siphon off the plant essence, and that's how they make their perfume. Patrabaho siya talaga. That's why your perfumes are expensive before, and hindi siya nagtatagal. So, now that they have formulated or they have discovered how to do things synthetically, like lavender is a very common scent, even for fragrance oil. And in fact, sobrang bilis gayahin. Um, most plant, um, most floral scents are copied na um, sa synthetic fragrance oil for fragrance oils like your lavenders and your roses. These are easily copied na. Um, the ones that are hard to copy, according to the according to the book that I've read, is jasmine is a little hard to copy. Um, kaya na papa tayo iba iba siya. Pero for rose, it's like Alam mo na kapag lavender scent, alam mo na kapag rose scent. Kasi, the perfect na yan, through the years of the fragrance industry. So, yun ang difference niya. Fragrance oil is synthetic. Um, it's not really that sensitive to heat. It's not really that sensitive to air. But your, your essential oils are always, always very sensitive to heat, sunlight, and oxygen. Okay? Dami ko explanation. Karen! Possible ba to make a scent for Reed Diffuser? Yes, I do that. Uh, not sure if I uploaded it on my YouTube, but if not, yes. Um, I actually have one in my bathroom right now. <laughs> I don't want to be taking you around my room. Okay. Um, but yes, I, I do have, um, I, we do make essential oil, uh, Reed Diffuser scents, through my brand, Catacorn Dreams. And we use um, essential oils for that. Kasi tumatagal naman siya. If you, but, if you want it to last longer, for example, yung bathroom mo medyo mainit, like, di ba, depende yan sa position mo sa house. So, if your bathroom is medyo naarawan, then I would suggest for you to go with fragrance oils. But, but if your room is somewhere na hindi naman masyado na anuhan ng araw, then it's okay for you to use essential oils. And it lasts a long time. Also, we do those um, read the fever uh, during my in-person class. Um, yeah, slightly I wanted also to discuss how are we going to move forward um, after the ECQ kasi hindi na pwede mga workshops. So for the workshops, we can actually accommodate one-on-one -on -one or at least a maximum of four participants. We used to have a maximum of ten, but we can't do that anymore. Um, I'd suggest two to four lang, the students. Actually, marami na yung four. Parang tatlo lang kayo. Three students, ako na yung pang-apat na tao. Basta four people lang in the room. That's the most that I can go. Um, so if you want to bring your friends na para sabay kayo mag-workshop, we can totally do that. Um, we only do one-on-ones now. We can't announce workshop kasi baka mahuli naman kami. Baka si bawal. But we do have some students who have enrolled kasi before the lockdown happened. So, yun, itutuloy pa rin namin yun as one-on-one. -on -one. So, if you guys have friends or you guys want to have an in-person class with me, we can accommodate that after the quarantine, after the ECQ, pero one-on-one -on -one na siya. And we don't charge you of the additional fee anymore. Because that's gonna be the new normal now. Hindi na tayo pwede mag-announce ng public workshop anymore. Okay? You're welcome, Maggie. Next, Karen, is it okay to store my EO sa plastic storage? Yes. Uh, okay lang you keep it in the plastic storage. Ang importante dapat, you keep it away from heat. So, dapat whatever pl plastic storage that is, dapat hindi siya naiinitan, dapat hindi siya humid, and dapat medyo stable yung temperature niya because nasisira yung essential oils sa parang extreme changes of temperature. So, I like keeping it inside the cabinet. Or I like keeping it inside sa mas mababa, lower shelf of the cabinet. Kasi mas mataas, hot air rises. Always remember that. Hot air rises. So, mas hindi stable yung nasa taas. So, if you have a cabinet, mas hindi stable yung temperature sa taas. Better to put it sa baba. Okay? Next. Paano po magpa-schedule ng workshop? Please PM me. Um, I do have some online workshops available on Patreon. We have shampoo bar and candle making online already. We've had that since last year, I think December. 
And we've had enrollees for that um, locally in the Philippines and also abroad. But if you want an in-person class with us, we can also do that one-on-one. -on -one lang. You can message me and then we can schedule. So we can accommodate that. Ang maganda sa in-person class, syempre, kompleto na yung materials, yung online, separate pa yung bayad for the materials. Para kasi yun sa OFW students namin. Especially now, they can't really travel here anymore. So, nag-request talaga sila ng online classes. Okay, hello, Jax Yang. I think it's your first time to join us. It's Miss AC. Thank you so much for joining. And Camille, thank you so much for joining. Go ask more questions. Before we end the session, I will be announcing the winners for these oils. Um, okay, so we have two sweet oranges. This is my favorite. So I'm very happy na dalawa yung binigay nilang bote. Uh, Zellerome is always a very, very generous sponsor. Ever since I started my oiling um, career or journey, they've always supported me. So I'm very, very grateful for them. I ko kung kung natutulungan ko ba sila the way they are helping me. <laughs> but they're always very generous. Thank you so much, um, Zella Roma. Thank you so much for always supporting my classes and you know your willingness to share your oils to my students. Ito, yung huling blend niya, hindi ko pa naamoy. This is their third blend, frankincense, peppermint, and lavender. Okay. Hindi ko masyado mamoy. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, pero this is a little more of lavender. But it smells good. This is perfect for anxiety. So if you guys are very anxious right now, like you feel stressed because of the cabin fever, dahil matagal na kayo hindi lumalabas ng bahay, eto, kunin nyo, frankincense, lavender, and peppermint. Buti ako, I go out from time to time because like the first Part of the quarantine, I, I've always been out. I've been running our drive. Kakatapos lang ng donation drive na. So ngayon lang ako medyo natatagal sa bahay. But I still go out because of like errands and stuff. Yeah. Favorite oil for YL and Zellaroma. Okay, for blends ng YL, I really love Progescence because of its use. But because of the amoy, like scent-wise, I love amorescence. I'll show you. I think my oils are here for while. I like having my IG lives. Na kompleto yung oils ko. Because then it, it's sort of like sharing with you. Okay, no? this is like this is like my kit for my course. <laughs> Segregated chapter function. This is my kit na nandito lahat ng YL oil. So that's how I arrange my oils. And then I have a kit for other kits. So for my YL oils, this is my favorite. And it's very, very um, limited edition. You can only get this through the beauty school. So if you have like a chance, I don't know if zoom or the yeah, like focus ba. It's called Amorescence. And this is exclusive sa beauty school ng Young Living. It's not, it's not part of the catalog. You can't buy it from your ER or your quick order. You can only get it through your upline and if they attend the beauty school. This was given to me as a gift by my upline. So good. Okay, I'll, I'll share with you how it smells. So when you take a whiff, it's like a bunch of beautiful spring flowers. Maybe not spring because... It's a little musky, parang eve, evening perfume, yung dating niya. Na sobrang bangong floral. I used to hate floral scents. I used to hate floral perfume. I feel that they're too pang matanda. But I guess as you grow older, your taste would change. And ito yung, ito yon. Kasi, maybe if you let me smell this when I was in my 20s, I'd hate it. I'd say, amoy lola yan. But now, this is so, oh, ang bango niya talaga, nakaka-in love. I'll share with you like the oil components of Amorescence. If you have like your YL upline, usually wala sa Pilipinas eh. Usually mga nasa US na. Um, if they can help you get it, 
you should get it. It's really, really a fragrance. So the oils inside are vetiver. Hindi ko masyadong say vetiver, pero meron siya dito. Idaho Blue Spruce smells really good. Jasmine, that's why it's so good. Devana, Osotea, Ilang-Ilang. Roman Chamomile, Vanilla, and Geranium. Okay, so I think what I'm smelling are the mix of florals and vanilla. It smells so good and super tinitipid ko to. Like, I've had this for years, but one-third pa lang ginagamit ko kasi sobrang tinitipid ko siya. And sometimes I use it as a perfume. So the way you use it as a perfume is you just apply it. Like, pwede mo siyang i-dab to. Pero since it has vanilla, of course, this, this will stain your damit. So better if you dilute this. You can dilute it with a little oil, a little carrier oil, like your fractionated coconut oil, and use that as para sa pulse points mo. Or, you can use it as a spray. You can use um, your perfumer's alcohol to dilute this and use it as a regular perfume. Another oil that I like from Young Living is Joy. Ito yung mas affordable, na mas accessible sa lahat. Um, this is my second bottle. But my first bottle is yung maliit lang. I like this also. This is also a good stress relieving um, blend for me. I like diffusing this when I'm when I was still studying. <laughs> Nung nag-aaral pa ako ng um, course ko for essential oils. I, I, I was diffusing this a lot. And um, for blends. So yun lang yung dalawang blends na gusto ko. Yung iba single oils na. For Zellaroma, wala silang blend. At I think ito yung unang blend nila. So, to your question, Zella Roma's blend, my favorite is this one. Peppermint, Bergamot, and Spirit. The other two are okay, but this is my favorite. Okay? Next, have you used Zella Roma for a scar remover? Yes, I use Zella Roma a lot. I use their lemon. Um, I think it's my third bottle of using Zella Roma lemon. Lemon is a very... Yeah, this is my first. Hindi pa naubos from Young Living. But kay Zella Roma na ako. Because it's almost the same. Um, some of these oils... Some of these oils, you can't even comp compare. I mean, you can't even see the difference. If you use Zellaroma or if you use Young Living, it's almost the same. Isa na dun yung lemon. Lemon talaga parang, it's such a common oil. You don't really have to be very specific about it. Um, one thing to be reminded of is that lemon is a phototoxic oil. So whenever you're using it for your scars, please, please don't uh, forget uh, to... Run for covers. Huwag kayong pamabilad sa araw kasi masusunod talaga yung balat nyo. Yeah, you like Joy too. Yes, kasi... Okay. So, I'll compare. Just so you know, kung anong difference ng Joy sa Amorescence. Joy is floral, right? So, pag inumin mo siya, mas... Ang amoy niya parang mas... Rose. Parang mas ganun type of flower siya. Let me just check what's in it. It has bergamot. FCF free bergamot, meaning hindi siya nakakasunog ng balat. It's actually safe under the sun. Ilang-ilang geranium lemon, coriander, tangerine, jasmine, Roman chamomile, palma rosa, and rose. So it has rose. And mas maamoy yung rose dito. While your amorescence, mas mangingibabaw dito yung wait, I'll check ulit the ingredients. So, mas nangingibabaw dito yung ilang-ilang, vanilla, and jasmine. Kaya, yun yung difference niya. So, with joy, mas naamoy mo yung rose and geranium. Because rose and geraniums would have the same scent. Yung parang, basta iba yung amoy niya. Versus the ilang-ilangs of the world and the vanillas of the world. Parang mas musky siya. Mas pang evening. Yung joy, yung parang mas pang daytime. But they're both floral blends. Okay, next question. Hi, Princess. Thank you so much for joining. I think we can extend because I'm still enjoying. It's already 2.50, but maybe we can extend. Pero, um, wait lang. I'll just get some water because I'm really very thirsty. I'm back. Okay, I got... Drinks. In caviar, na pasok. <laughs> Sorry. So yeah, and as much as I want to share with you, like the glamorous side of doing IG live, sometimes you know life screws you over. Si si Ray ngay ako nung and makakansel yung IG live and <laughs> yeah, that, that's real life. If 
you have any other questions, please, please um, send it through the comments. And since I'm back at home, I can actually go na pala with ano. I can go with um, Facebook na. Para mas marami tayong joiners. And mas maraming magtanong. Wait, let me just set it up very quickly. Habang nagsasend kayo ng questions nyo. Where's my other phone? I was very prepared yesterday uh, for this class. In fact, I woke up very early, like 4 o'clock, because I had to attend a Zoom conference pa with, with someone from New York. So I was up very early. I was prepared very early. Tapos, pagdating na mga 11, nasira yung aircon namin. And as in, nag waterfalls level siya na talaga. As in, maingay. And so we had to call someone to fix it. And so I had to cancel my plans. <laughs> Grabe, nakaka-stress. But it's okay. I can find my other phone. Wala dito yung isang phone ko. Hindi ko siguro napasok. I left it in the car. Wala dito. Oh well, hindi natin masaset up yung isa. Wala talaga. What's the best carrier oil? For what purpose? Maybe you can share with me like what's your plan? Kung ano yung gusto mong gawin? And then I can share with you what's the best carrier oil that you can use. Okay, last time, may nagtanong din in my last session. While you're thinking about your um, your purpose, Dana, Dane, um, let me just share with you the difference. Kasi sa last IG live natin, may nagtanong, what's the difference between sacred frankincense and your regular frankincense na Boswellia Carteri? Your Boswellia Carteri and your Boswellia Sacra are actually from the same plant. So I asked my mentor, why is your sacred frankincense so much more expensive it's, if it's from the same plant? Ang sagot niya sa akin, it's because it's from the different um, location. Yun lang yun. But it's from the same plant. So the aromatic or even like the functional benefit are actually the same. Kaya lang sinabi ko sa'yo, I would compare your sacred frankincense and your frankincense because I have both. When you can compare them, it's actually very the same. So, bakit mas mahal yung sacred frankincense? Yun. Kasi nga lang, yung sacred frankincense is usually from like a different region. Pero hindi nakasulat dito eh. And then your frankincense, na regular frankincense, is from like a common, more common na region. Kaya siya mas mura. But when you smell them together, it's actually the same. Pareho lang yung amoy niya. And very comparable to Sa Aromas Frankincense. Actually, mas gusto ko pa nga yung regular frankincense and sacred frankincense in terms of its smell. Ah. So, I had this because I had to use it at school. So, I bought one. But, um, for, for your, like, economically, you don't really have to buy sacred frankincense. Because it's, it has the same function with your regular frankincense. Next question, Maggie. Craftology BCO Pure Carrier Oil Puba. Maganda for candle making. Sorry, if puro candle making. <laughs> yes, you can use craftology. In fact, you can even use like your regular virgin coconut oil from the grocery. So, kung naghahanap ka ng mas mura, use the things that you can buy from grocery. Like your pro source oil is the same. If it's just plain BCO, you don't even have to buy like expensive BCO brands. Because you're not even ingesting it. Sinasunod mo lang siya, di ba? I mean, ginagawa mo siyang candle. So you can totally get from the ones you can see from the groceries. It won't matter. Mas tipid pa. Yeah. Hello, Angela. Thank you so much for joining. I think it's impossible for us to set up for the Facebook, ano, Facebook um, simultaneous broadcast. So let's just stay here and enjoy our IG Live. Anyway, you guys will be rewarded since you follow me on Happy Wider. You are the ones who will be who will have the chance to win all these Zellaroma oils. So these are four Zellaroma oils that we have for raffle. And just like last time, para may sumama ng last time kasi hindi siya natawag. Um, 
I just want to share that, you know, every time we have our IG live, it's it's like a chance for everyone. There's no favoritism here. The way we pick the winner is we shinafal ko lang ninyo and the point lang ako. So I think she was expecting to win. Please don't expect to win. Parang bawal lang pikon. Enjoy lang tayo sa sessions natin. The goal of our IG live is not to offend anyone. Is to share knowledge for you guys to learn, for me also to learn, like for us to talk about things that, that's going on and share inputs about it. Okay? Do you have any other questions about um, oils? Okay, going back to the topic um, about self-love and your essential oils, um, I normally monitor different like communities for oils and I normally also monitor if ano yung usually na nagiging usually na nagiging um, sakit ng mga tao for this period of time or usually nagiging issues ng mga tao for a period of time and during the lockdown I was noticing a lot of people having allergic rhinitis I was noticing a lot of people having cough and cold yun yung parati kong nakikita na rinig Anong oil for cough and cold? Marami nagtatanong nun. So, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming na marami nagkaka-cough and cold. And, ano ang oil na for anxiety? Um, because I guess a lot of people are suffering from cabin fever, from being inside your room or house for a long period of time. I'm, I'm sure it's super, sometimes nakaka-stress to yun. So, uh, what I can say is, oils have really helped me um, coping. Uh, especially during those times na, you know, sometimes when you watch the news, it, it sometimes affects you na parang, my God, why is, why is the world having this issue? Why is our government doing this? And your oils will help bring you back to your balance. Your oils can help bring you, um, you know, put you back into your optimum health. Okay, wait, may question muna. Okay. Ano yung difference ng cold press and pure carrier oil? Usually, um, meron din mga carrier oil na cold press. Like, when you go to healthy options, nakalabel naman sila na cold press. And ideally, you have to use oils that are cold pressed. Meaning, hindi siya nagamitan ng process na merong heat. Because as I've said earlier, your oils are degraded by heat, sunlight, and oxygen. So, it's the same for your essential oils. It's the same for your carrier oils. There are carrier oils na mas sensitive sa heat, like uh, grapeseed oil is very sensitive to heat. Kaya yung iba-ibang carrier oil, iba-iba sila ng expiry period. Kasi iba-iba sila ng sensitivity to heat. Um, there are oils na mas sensitive, like grapeseed, water, pomegranate oil is very, very easy to or very very fast to expire. Some are more shelf stable, like jojoba is shelf stable. Olive oil is more shelf stable. What else are shelf stable oils? Um, sunflower oil would go in the middle. Argan oil would go in the middle. So there are different carrier oils. Iba iba sila ng sensitivity or shelf stability ratio. And kapag cold press, meaning hindi siya dumaan sa uh, processes of heat. Therefore, mas nakakontain niya yung nutritional value niya or yung nutritional benefit or therapeutic benefit niya versus oils that have undergone heat processes. Okay? Yes, it's always better to get cold process oil. And yes, it's more expensive. Okay, but if you are planning to use it for your candles, naiinitin mo rin naman, di ba? Parang, anong sense na bibili ka pa ng cold process oil? You, you, you normally use cold process oil if you are ingesting it. If iniinom mo siya. Or, you know, you, it, it also doesn't matter if you use cold press or not for soap making. Because there's also an exothermic reaction that will happen. I, iinit din siya. Kaya, to, 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 to just tell you frankly, you don't really have to spend for that if you're gonna be using it for candle making. You don't really have to spend for that if you're gonna be using it for soap making. Pauso na lang ibang tao yun kapag sinasabi nila na, Use your essential oil for soap making, use your essential oil for candle making, but in the end, sayang lang siya. Any other questions? Yung phone ko na iwan yata sa car ng isa. 
Thank you. Yeah. So, any other questions? Again, if, if you want to enroll with our, I'll try to access it through my iPad. I'll show you our Patreon account. Most of our students on my Patreon are actually foreigners and OFWs. Kasi sila talaga yung nag-request nun. I do have, I think, konti lang, one or two lang yung naging student ko sa Patreon na based in the Philippines. But normally, it's Ayan, so we are back again. I hope to save yung episode kanina. Because the last time, walang na-save. So, sana this time na-save siya. Okay, thank you so much for coming back. Um, so, I was just telling you about our Patreon. I'm gonna wait for... I'm gonna wait for... Sino ba yung nagtatanong ng Patreon kanina? Hold on. Yan. Effective din bang oils as inhaler? Yes, very effective. Hi, Agatha. Thank you so much for joining. Hi, Chas. Late ka, na one hour. <laughs> Hi, Sophia. Wait, may nagtatanong kanina about the... Ah, about the... About the online, ano. Wala pa yata siya, eh. Um, okay. Mamaya na lang. I'll wait for her to arrive para mamaya ako napapakita yung Patreon. So, you guys can send in your questions. Effective din po ba ang oils as inhaler? Yes, it's very effective. In fact, I also keep inhalers in my purse all the time. So, this is, yan, Maggie. We were talking about the Patreon, but I'll just um, finish what I'm discussing with Karen. So, these are inhalers that I always keep in my purse. Um, I always have two, kasi isa for, this one is for my respiratory support, for my rhinitis. So this is more of minty. And since the COVID, I added a little thieves, so medyo amay thieves siya with minty. And then this is for anxiety. So this is where I put the ilang-ilangs and the, and the sweet oranges. Pero medyo wala na siyang amoy, so I have to replace this. And this is how it looks like. This is available at my studio. This is a glass inhaler. And I fill it with Himalayan salt. Yan. Tapos, nare-refill ko lang siya. Um, if it's time for you to replace it, you just throw in the salt sa ba a basin of water. And you can use that as your food soap. And then wash mo lang yung glass component. Ng soapy water, warm soapy water. And refill it with new Himalayan salt before you drop your oils. Tapos, yan, okay siya. Reusable siya. I keep it in my purse all the time. Super effective and great if you want to, like, enjoy the benefits of your oil na hindi nakaka-disrupt sa iba. Like, some people are very uh, sensitive to oils. Ayaw nila. Like, some people ayaw ng floral, pero ikaw gusto mo yung floral. Then, you can use your inhaler para ikaw lang mag-isa na enjoy And this is very pocket-friendly. You can travel with this. Wala akong problema sa um, TSA na to kasi wala lang liquid. Kaya, okay siya. I, I travel a lot with it. It's always in my purse. Okay? Ayan, Maggie, Miss Jerby, ano ang disinfectant soap niyo? Ginagawa niyo po ba yung mga thieves? Yes, I wanted to discuss that today. Wait, I'll get my thieves. Hold on. Sorry. Okay, so here are my thieves things. Okay? So this is my fruit and veggie soap. Hindi pala siya available here. I'm... Hindi ko alam na hindi siya available. But I've gotten this... Um, a while back na, medyo matagal na. And I have been using this to... Smells like soap. <laughs> I use this for all my fresh produce, like for fruits and veggies. The first time I used this, na over, kasi ginawa ko one cup full in like a basin of water with fruits. It's not recommended. Ma maglalasang sabon siya. So dapat super konti lang. Kasi ang ratio niya pala is one or two tablespoons for every gallon of water, which is like super big. So, para sa bowl, parang kahit one-fourth lang nitong cup is enough. Tapos, you just shake it around. 
Tapos ibababad mo lang siya. Ako ay babad it for 30 minutes. Ito 1 to 2 minutes lang. But ako ay put it there for 30 minutes. And after that, you rinse it with water. Tapos okay na siya. Nakikita mo yung water. Medyo mas iba na yung kulay. Madumi na. So yun. It's very effective and very easy to use. This is the other one that I've been using. Um, Young Living Thieves Dish Soap. I'm not so sure if this is if this is available here. I must have gotten it during Black Friday. Um, but it's really also very nice. This is gentle for your hands. It's made with essential oils like lemon bergamot, jade lemon, clove, cinnamon, and rosemary. Thieves kasi yun. So, meron siyang thieves plus bergamot. And your regular soap ingredients. So, it's very straightforward. Wala siyang kaiklasan. Wala siyang all the other um, ingredients na nakakasama or nakakadry ng skin. And my favorite is this one. Thieves Household Cleaner. I use this here in our room and I use it also in, at my office, in our studio. And it's super easy kasi one cup full lang sa isang pail of water, balde ng tubig. Tapos yun na yung nagamit ko, pang mop, pang wipe, pang whatever. Um, it's also safe for pets. So this is so much safer versus using Clorox. Although Clorox is effective as well. But since this has... Um, like soap ingredients already. This is also very effective for COVID and gentler for you and safer for your pets. So yeah. Um, it lasts a long, long time. This is like my second bottle. Kasi yung isang bottle ko na sa studio, isa na dito. Both of them hindi pa ubos. So gano siya. Um, super tipid. Super tipid siya. Yes, tipid gamitin. Super. Kasi you dilute them anyways. Okay, next question. Can you suggest a good brand of Himalayan salt? I was actually at Landers earlier. They have it at, um, meron silang parang tub of Himalayan salt for only 300 pesos. But that's affordable, I think. Uh, it's all, already one kilo. Um, 300 pesos lang, mura na yun. But we bought this other brand. It looks a little fancier. This is 200 plus pesos. Yeah, wait lang. <laughs> Thanks. Ito. So this is what we buy. Um, this is half a kilo. So 425. Mas mahal to. Kasi 200 plus. Half a kilo. Meron isa doon na, na parang naka-promo ngayon. 1 kilo na siya. Pero 300 pesos na. So you can also get that. Ito kasi coarse. Coarse Himalayan salt. Yung isa, fine. I get it from Landers. Next question. Where do you buy a veggie soak in the Philippines? Kung wala siya sa local catalog, I must have gotten it sa during Black Friday. Or try to check NFR catalog. It should be available. It should be available. Tapos have it, ano na lang, i-drop drop ship shipping, something like that. Drop ship order. You can get it. Alternative for it. Okay. Alternative would be your regular um, castile soap plus the essential oils like thieves, and bergamot. Yung 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 dinagtog niya dito eh. Eh wait, no. It has tarragon, ginger, fennel. Mas marami itong oils versus this one. Okay, let me just check the ingredients ah. So basically, you have your soap ingredients plus a lot of other oils. Marami siyang oils sa dagdag. Meron siyang Moroccan myrtle, Tunisian myrtle, lavandin. Iba yung lavandin sa lavender. Tea tree, cinnamon, patchouli ah. Lemon anise, citronella, rosemary clove, lemongrass fennel, tarragon, ginger, peppermint. Marami siyang oil. So I would suggest for you to buy it na lang. Kasi kung bibilhin mo individual oils, mahal din yun. Um, a basic substitute for this, for this is your castile soap, plus your lemon and your thieves. That's enough as a basic um, ingredient. But I think this is very convenient kasi I've never tried using castile soap. Kasi hindi naman tayo, hindi naman natin ugali mag- OC linus before the um, before the pandemic. But now that we're having this new normal, then we are taking all these extra steps to clean everything more thoroughly, right? Okay, next. Sorry, naghang. Paano yung sa Himalayan salt? Anong paano yung sa Himalayan salt? For the, for the inhaler? Okay, so let me just show you again. Here's how it looks like. Ayan, nag-focus pa. <laughs> okay, so ganito yung inhaler. This is available at our studio. I'm sure you can find this on Shopee as well. Ayan. Tapos, you just twist the glass component at the plastic. 
or aluminum. And this is the glass component. You just fill it up with coarse Himalayan salt para hindi siya lumabas sa butas. And then you fill it up with 15 to 20 drops of essential oil. Whatever essential oil combination you choose is fine. Okay? If you think you want to switch up the scent, you just throw the Himalayan salt in a basin of water, use it as your foot soap, then wash the component with warm soapy water para mawala yung amoy, amoy, refill it with salt, refill it with 15 to 20 drops of essential oil, and then use it as parang brandy. Okay, next. Karen, is that okay for inhaler? Yes, it is. I use it a lot. Hi, Susie. Long time. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Kitty Cat. Thank you so much for joining. My recipe ba ng essential oil for migraine? Yes, my favorite recipe for migraine is um, lavender. Actually, I only use lavender and it's fine. Other people may have to use lavender, chamomile, and bergamot. Other people may need to add peppermint kasi mas gusto nila yung minty sensation. Iba-iba depending on your taste. But for me, lavender is enough for me. Other people, like, sila Melissa, she likes a lot of minty stuff. So it depends on your taste. If you are into minty oils, you can add more peppermint to your lavender. Lavender has analgesic benefits, meaning nakaka pain relieving siya. That's why you put in lavender there. Peppermint is very circulating, so it also helps with your migraine. And maybe you can put in also bergamot, because it's very stimulating as well. Okay, any other questions? Yeah, and the more you ask your questions, um, the higher the chance for you to win any of these oils. So now, um, mamaya, kapag magdodraw na tayo ng winner, para visible din sa inyo kung paano tayo nagdraw ng winner, para walang samaan ng loob. Kasi last time, parang may na-offend, hindi siya na na. Um, okay, so I have another IG here. And we can draw like the winner line. And I'll just scroll ko pa yun. How do you make your foot soak? And you can just use any salt that you want. For example, if you have Himalayan salt, if you have Epsom salt, or your regular salt, to be honest, like your regular rock salt, rock salt, put it in. And then just put 15 to 20 drops of whatever oil that you feel like using. And then yun, pwede mo na siyang gamitin as foot soap. I ordered pala yung breed sa Young Living. How was it? It smells really good. I, I think it's in my purse as well. Wait, let me just guess it. Yeah. And so it's in my purse. Um, I bring this outside, like I told you, early, like I told you in the last session. Oh, it's so good. Um, okay, I put this here. And I always put an extra layer of tissue. So one inch from the edge, from the edge of your mask, I put it there. Ikot ikot lang. Yeah. So sometimes nakikita nyo na when I put it there, sometimes nakikita nyo transparent, kasi may oil jam. But that's okay. Mag evaporate nyo. Then I put it here. When you wear it, you will notice na nandito siya. Nandito siya sa space na to. Kaya one inch is the perfect like distance from the edge. And para parang merong kong personal inhaler. And then this was also discussed in the YL parang product launch yesterday. I'm sure a lot of people are doing that. Like they put their oils on their mask, but my my take with that is sana they don't use pure essential oils like straight from the bottle and then put it some mask. Especially when you are using photosensitive oils, for sure it's gonna burn your skin. Um, especially also if they use like hot oils, like kunyari gumamit ka ng thyme or oregano or thieves even, baka mag burn your yung skin mo. So never ever put straight from your oil bottle. Mas mabuti kung blended na siya like this. Or even this from Zellaroma. If you get, this is only 150 pesos. You can buy it from Zellaroma. Um, this is my favorite. Peppermint, bergamot, and spearmint. And then ito yung gamitin mo para dito. It works just as well. Yeah. Pwede mo siyang gawing diffuser. 
bang yan the one you showed at your vlog oh okay I can't share that with you because that's my proprietary blend then you have to buy the formulation for me <laughs> diba? so I'm sharing with you like the basic way of doing things but of course the man I won't share the way we do it at Katikor unless you enroll for the class okay okay sa mga inhaler nyo essential oil with water po ba or pure essential oil inhaler you mean this inhaler whoa you mean this inhaler? This inhaler, wala no water. You just put in pure essential oils. Send straight from the bottle, like for example, like this one. Yeah. Straight from this, you just drop it in, and then okay na siya as inhaler. Okay. Ayan. Hindi nyo, hindi nyo pala ma-scroll yung ano, yung mga... Hindi nyo pala ma-scroll yung comments. So, there's no way for me to show you how I choose the winner later. Kasi ako, I can scroll through the comments and like actually choose it. Pero kayo pala hindi. Okay. I can't wait to have you too, Maggie. So, maybe we can schedule like our one-on-one -on -one class after the ACQ. Kasi ngayon, it's so hard to make plans. Like, we had we had this plan of collaborating with other makers for this year's summer. Ang dami kong collaboration. So, meron tayong sa studio, meron kami dapat na calligraphy class, merong macrame class, merong amigurumi class, jewelry making class, and dami namin class na naisip. Kasi we collaborated with other makers na cancel lahat because of the quarantine. So, sayang. Um, tapos ng summer, we, we normally do collaboration lang naman during summer. So, wala na. Wala na yon, Wala na yung mga plan na yun. And then, we're back to our one-on-one -on -one classes na. Um, what's good about it is that we don't really uh, um, charge you an extra before we charge an additional 1,000 pesos for one-on-ones. But now, wala na. Because it's gonna be the new normal. One-on-one -on -one na lang yung gagawin natin. And, or, um, three students at most. We can't accept like many people in one small room anymore. Okay? Next question. If bagong join lang sa IG Live, kung ano lang, oh nga eh, hindi ko alam na ganun pala. But ako kasi I can scroll through your comments and that's how I chose the winners last time. Ito, when I'm trying, ayaw. Ay, no, wala. It's hard. Okay, next question. How about relaxing oils? Okay, relaxing is very, I think... It's a very relative word, I would say. Like for me, relaxing sa akin yung ilang-ilang, but a lot of my students hate it. Relaxing for some people I know is minty oils, but ako, I'm not really fond of super minty oils. Um, also, that's the reason why we have two diffusers here in our room, kasi iba yung taste ko versus sa taste ni Chris. So what's relaxing for you may not be that relaxing for me, but generally... The oils that promote the relaxation are chamomile, lavender, rose, and you can always drop in a little citrus oil. That is always very relaxing and refreshing at the same time. So you can put in your limes, your lemons, your sweet oranges. That is also okay. Kaya napapansin mo sa spa, ano yung usually na dinidiffuse nila? It's normally lavender. Most spas will have lavender. Some of them will diffuse the combination of spearmint, lime, and bergamot. That is also very spyish when they smell it. But whenever I, okay, I normally diffuse oils at my studio whenever we're having glasses. Kahit anong klase yan, kahit essential oil, kahit soap, kahit ano. And then sometimes when they enter, oh, this smells like a spa. It's because I was diffusing lavender, no. I was diffusing lemongrass, lime, and spearmint. That's my favorite combination for guests. Like when I'm having guests around, I normally diffuse lemongrass, spearmint, and and lime. Yang tatlo na yan, gusto yan, parang ano siya, very gen generically pleasing. Gusto ng lahat ng tao yan. 
So that's my tip with you. If you're inviting guests over, yung tatlong oil na yan, it's very universally appealing. Because some people don't like lavender. I've had students who hate it. I've had students who are allergic to ilang ilang. Before, I used to diffuse things that I personally like. Personally like, and then, you know, as you go along, you invite people over. They would tell you their feedback. Sabi na lang, may ilang ilang jano oh, hindi nila gusto, or may lavender jano oh, hindi nila gusto. But with this combination, lemongrass, spearmint, and lime, wala pa nagsabi sa akin na ayon nila yun. So that's my tip for you. And also a good smell for summer. I can okay. Next question. Hi! Long time. Are you already in Australia? A. Cabrera 08. Um, I'm excited for you to take pictures of our blends in Australia. If bago join, oh nga eh. Ayan. Don't worry, I'm going to be extending this session again for another hour. So let's end at 4 o'clock. We have 30 more minutes. Just send me your questions. I want to have more questions from you guys. Any, uh, any questions about essential oils is very welcome. And the more you ask questions, the higher the chance for you to win um, Zeleroma oils for today. May mga oils ba na nakaka-help for anemic? Okay. There are oils that would help circulation, but there, I don't think there's an oil that would help like blood creation. Kasi kung anemic ka, kulang ka sa red blood cells. The most thing that you can do is to help your circulation or to help um, moving of oxygen within your body so that you're healthier. Pero as regards to production of RBC, there's none. So for circulation, what you can use is cypress, you can use peppermint, you can use um, healing oils like frankincense and helichrysum. You can use oils that promote oxygen, um, yung parang mas marami oxygen sa blood mo. You can use citrus oils for that. Those oils would help you find your balance, but not really like cure anemic. There's none. Okay, next question. How do you use goldenrod oil? I have it here. Sabi nila, goldenrod daw is a good oil for 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 couples to keep the party up sabi sabi nila that's the way we will put it okay so i actually have it i like kasi keeping oils that are hard to to get like rare so i have this i have the amorescences of the world i also have idaho blue spruce kasi mga rare sila so i like keeping them um okay so for golden rod let me just take a whiff it smells musky. Uh, it doesn't smell good to be honest, but sabi nila, um, this is the oil that would help keep the party up. Okay, kaya na lang mag-interpret nun. <laughs> Pero, um, the oil that's in here is goldenrod flower stem extract. So it's very musky, it's very grounding. I haven't really used this, and I don't like using this on my diffuser. I feel that this is great for topical use, not really for diffusing. It smells like a root. You know what I mean? So, as is, it doesn't smell pleasant. You know what? After some time, i just probably give this away. <laughs> I don't see myself using this a lot. Um, ito na lang. Stress away. Let's, let's try to sniff stress away. Oh, mas mabang yung... Uh, you know what? The first time I smelled stress away, I hated it. I hated it so much, I gave it to my sister. But now, when I smell it, it's na siya for me. And that's the reason why I tell you na nagiiba yung taste natin as we go along. Oh, not bad. I've had students who hoard stress away, like per 15 ml bottles. And I couldn't understand them. Kasi parang, ha, hindi naman mabango yung stress away for me. But now that I smell it, it smells okay. Um, yeah, so these are the two, and yeah, these are the three oils that people use for men. Like when, whenever they're mixing things for men, for example, a reed diffuser blend for men, or a, a perfume for men, I really don't know. Ito yung ginagamit nila, golden rod, Idaho blue spruce, and stress away. This is actually a very um, androgynous scent, yung stress away. Pwede siya sa men, pwede siya sa female. Most of my scents are for female. Kung mapapansin mo yung mga purple and pink, 
Ayan, yung mga pink and purple na label. These are normally girly scents. Ayan. These are normally girly scents. Like your Palo Santos and your Jasmines. These are normally girly scents. Okay, let's try this one. Idaho Blue Spruce. Oh, this smells so good. Mukha siya ano. Amoy insecticide siya. <laughs> to some extent, it smells like an insecticide na mabango. Ewan ko, if you've tried smelling it, it smells like that. Okay. Yeah, ang baho ng goldenrod. Right? I'm just putting it out there. Next, A. Cabrera. May... <laughs> Okay lang. Just take a picture whenever you can. But please stay safe, okay? Don't go out right now. Stay at home. Stay safe. I don't know what's the situation there in Australia, but please stay safe. Ayoko naman mapahama ka just for taking pictures. Okay, next. How about the oils for hypothyroid? Our helper has been battling thyroid problem for years. Doctors suggest surgery. What? Okay. Hypothyroid. Actually, my parents... My mom has hyperthyroid. My dad has hypothyroid. So, like, there's a different treatment for that. But I know, like, for thyroid issues, you have to use... Um, wait, I have that oil. It's here. Oh, there. So, you have to use endoflex. Endoflex is the oil blend that's used to help your endocrine function. And what's in here is pyramid, sesame oil, sage, geranium, myrtle, German chamomile, and nutmeg. So, ito yung ginagamit. I have had students na merong hypothyroidism na gumamit ng endoflex. They've had positive results talaga. When I say positive results, wala na masyado yung mood swing nila. Basta, um, I'll share with you like a testimony from one of my students. Na after she used Endoflex, nakita niya talaga yung difference. And she's been on it since. Like ako. Um, I've been Progestins ever, ever since I started Young Living. Kasi I've seen the benefits. And until now, I'm still using it. So maybe you should try letting your helper use Endoflex. It's a little, it's a little expensive. Siguro kung matagal na sa inyo yun, or parang gawin mong birthday gift niya, or Christmas gift niya, you just let them use it. And, you know, I think, I hope it will work for them as well. Usually, the doctors will suggest surgery. Even to my parents, both of them, surgery din naman yung recommend. But, it's your choice. My mom had to undergo surgery, but it's like after, siguro mga tatlong doctor na nagsabi. Kung isang doctor lang ang nagsabi nun, you don't really have to, you know, follow. Maybe get a second opinion. Maybe get a third opinion. And that's when you'd know na kung kailangan talaga. Okay? Hi, Edith! Thank you so much for joining. Is Ruta Valo for relaxing? Yes, it is. Ruta Valo is actually a mix of three oils. It's Ruta. And then Va is Valerian yata. Tama ba? And La is Lavender. That's what I remember. Um... Meron kaya dito. Wala yata akong book dito. Yeah, basta, the, the way I remember, Ruta Valley is a mix of three oils, and these oils are very relaxing, and it helps also promote sleep, or parang state of calm. And it doesn't smell good. I've smelled Ruta Valley. It's not that amazing. Kaya hindi ko siya masyado gusto. But you can try. I have also a student who is like very, very fond of it. Kasi Ruta Valley really makes her fall asleep. Meron siyang insomnia. So you can try. Ako kasi, walang problema sa akin makatulog eh. I, I sleep like consistently at 10 p.m. tulog na ako, 9 tulog na ako, sometimes 8 tulog na ako. Where should we place our diffuser at night? Dapat ba bedside? No. Dapat nga mas malayo. Um, that's the common like place kasi nga it's convenient. It's okay if you put it on your bedside. Basta don't keep it near very small children. Because they're, they're too small. Like yung mga bata na 6 and below, 2 and below. Huwag nyo lagay na lang sa tabi nila. Huwag sa bedside nila. Put it across the room. Para lang safe. But for adults, there's no problem. Okay lang sa bedside. Yan. Next, may time limit ba pag nag-diffuse ang EOS? Ideally, you only diffuse 30 to 45 minutes. One hour is agad na. If you are battling something like may sakit ka, you wanna sterilize your room, may infestation sa bahay nyo, nagkakasakit kayong lahat, 
okay, you can totally diffuse one hour and that's it. That's too long. Um, for you to finish your entire like four hour limit ng water capacity na ano, that's too much. Okay, where should you place? Okay, next. Other questions? Yes, thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Sarah, do you use Produsense Pure or blend it? I use it pure right now. But I also have shared to my students before that I blend it as well. So it depends, like what I've said the last time. Um, the first time I use it, I use it ng pure from the bottle, like the way I'm using it now. Yung naka... Wait, I'll get it. Yung naka... Oh, it's here. <laughs> okay. So this is how I use it, okay? Vital point. It's vital point. But wait. So, okay. So this is how I use it. I just pop in the Aroma Glide Fitment there, and then I just use it in between my legs. Um, the first time I used this, it's Because I wanted to have that benchmark on the effect niya when I'm using it ng ganito, as is versus when I'm using it ng diluted. So the first month that I used this ever ever in my entire life, I used it as ganito. And this would last me for about two bottles. I mean two months, sorry. One bottle can last me for about two months if I use it like regularly morning and night or one and a half month. And then the next few months, I started using it ng diluted. So I put 20 drops of this in a 10 ml and then I use that. If you notice that your body reacts the same way ng diluted, then you are okay using it ng diluted. Then you just use it ng diluted. There's no need for you to use it ng derecho sa bote. But if you notice na mas gusto mo yung effect sa'yo kapag nasa undiluted or derecho sa bote, then use it as is. Okay, so I have students na they tell me, okay sa kanila kahit diluted, go on, pag, go on using diluted pag okay ng diluted. If you feel na hindi mas gusto mo yung derecho sa bote, then you should use derecho sa bote. Ako naman, um, I use this, okay, I started using it ng ganito, and then after this, I diluted. I noticed that my body reacted to it well also ng diluted. So I've been using it for the past three years ng diluted. And then I got my um, ultrasound and my tests last February when I came back from Korea, I got all my you know health tests, annual health tests. Because I was planning to go back to Korea last March. I was having my certification done again. Um, and then, hindi na tuloy. So I had all these health tests. And then, luckily, or gratefully, laking ko salamat ko that my PCOS is now gone. I'm, I'm normal na. Nasa normal range na ako. So hindi na ako PCOS. As confirmed by my ob -Vine. So I'm very, very happy with that. And um, I can't... I, I wouldn't dare say that this has cured me because... Hindi naman curable yung because It's something that you manage for the entirety of your life, like for your entire life, right? But this is the only thing that's you with what I'm doing. I removed BCP from my life and then I used this and now I'm back normal. So, after noon, February, hindi na ako nag ganito. So, actually, bagong open ko lang siya. Kasi nga, when I started seeing I'm having hormonal acne, then I started using it. Kapag meron lang akong hormonal acne. Hindi na siya, hindi ko na siya ginagamit daily. So, I'll, I'll try to do that. Um, practice. And then have myself tested again next year. If normal pa ako, then maybe I'm doing it right. If in there, then I'll be back again using this every day. Vita point for the progesens. It's at the bottoms of your, no, not at the bottoms. Nasa right ankle mo. Outside ankle. Wait, so I'll show you. So here, hindi ko mahirap. Okay, so pretend that this is your foot, okay? So yun dito, yung may buto dyan sa side. That's your Vitaflex point for your female reproductive system. Okay? But ako, I just like putting it in between my thighs and it's okay. You don't really have to put it there. Okay? Next question. Hi, Chris! I know you wanted to join. Buti nakahabal ka. This is our second hour um, of having this. We'll end at 4. So by 4 o'clock, magpipili na tayo ng winners. Okay, next, Claudia. Hi. Paano gamitin ang alin? Chas. Hello, Phoebe. Thank you so much for joining. Hi, Jack. Thank you so much for joining. Ayan. Ayan. 
I hope na save yung first part. Kasi, I don't know what's wrong with my phone or with my internet. Hindi na save yung IG Live. I stopped using Progesense kasi I'm having rashes. Oh, okay. So maybe there's one oil component here that's not reacting well with you. And that's, to that's totally normal. There are people who will have that kind of reaction. Let me just open this up. Tingnan ko kung ano yung part ng... I mean, kung ano yung oil composition. I've honestly forgotten what's in it. Because you know, when you find an oil that works for you, you don't really like research about it anymore. Hi, Kitty Cat! Thank you so much for joining! Yes! Sa inner thigh. Okay, tatayo ako sa seat para makita niyo. Oh, wait. Okay, so it's here. So this is your body sense, right? I put it here. Just here. So I just draw a little star here, and I draw a little star here. And that's it. Okay? Hold on. Hindi siya nagpipil ng maayos. So, I'll just try to check what's in here. Okay, ito na. So, what's inside your project sense is... Okay, Copaiba. You have your frankincense. You have your um, coconut oil. You have your... Bergamot, peppermint, vitamin E, it has wild yam, clove, and it also has cedar wood. I would say maybe clove is irritating for you. Or pwede hindi rin. Hindi rin natin alam. But if you want to have another um, alternative, I do have an oil blended for female support. So I would suggest for you to try this instead. Hold on. So it's here. Um, I actually have this. Wala na yata. Hindi meron. <laughs> I also have this moon. Moon child. Ayan. So I have this. Um, this is part of my Gilded Treasures collection last December. And it's moon child. It's basically concocted for a female balance blend. So this is an alternative for you. If allergic as a sense. I use oils here that are more non-irritating because clove is irritating to some people. So baka sa clove ka nagre-react since may clove itong progesense. So you just try this, um, Moonchild, and let me know how it goes for you. This is available sa Shopee. Or you can just message me. I can lalo move this to you if you need it urgently. Okay? Same application. You apply it sa inner thighs as well. Okay, next question. Proper storage to essential oils. I like keeping my oils sa cool and stable temperatured places. Um, also away from moist and humid spaces. So, ako okay sa akin sa loob ng cabinet. Um, okay. Like in my office, I just put it there sa taas ng mga shelves. Basta away lang from the heat, away lang from sunlight, and away from humid and moist spaces. Okay? I'm having burning sensation. Oh, okay. Okay, one suggestion, you can dilute it. And if nag-react ka pa sa diluted, then ibig sabihin nun, there's a specific oil composition in there na hindi talaga pwede sa'yo. I would assume it's clove. So, another alternative is for you to try Moonchild and see how it goes. If okay ka sa Moonchild, definitely may oil lang dito na hindi, hindi pwede para sa'yo. So yeah, you try na lang Moonchild and then let me know if it's okay for you. Moonchild is only 380 pesos. It's so much more affordable than your budget size. Okay, next. My expiration po ba yung oil blends? The expiration will follow the expiration of the carrier oil used. So with my oils, the ones that I've been concocting, these are um, used with fractionated coconut oil. So the normal shelf life for this is 2 plus years. It's very, very shelf stable. As long as you keep it away from sunlight, away from heat, heated places, it's gonna last you a long, long time. Okay. We have, how many minutes left? Hold on. Okay. 
We have 15 minutes left. Is Ningxia Red okay? Yes, it's okay. I've been drinking Ningxia Red since we have started all this. Teka lang ah. Since we have started all this lockdown thing, no? Wait. Okay, sorry. I'm just charging it para hindi tayo mapagod. Now that I'm charging it, I can't really put it back on the tripod. Okay, yes, I've been using, I've been drinking Ningxia. Yeah, I have like two bottles in my ref right now. I finished two bottles since the lockdown happened. And you only drink one shot, shot glass of it a day. And it's enough for your health. Dane, please do try Moonchild. It's one of our best sellers. Next to Amazonian Queen. Amazonian Queen is our like kid safe. Um, respiratory aid support whatever and then the next bestseller namin yung moon child please do order moon child i can send it over after ecq i have one here so unahan na lang kayo and then yung sa maybe after ecq na next week na i can totally send you more moon child um from our office from from our kansas city studio hi ray thank you so much for joining is things here that okay yeah it is um we have a few more minutes Shoot in your questions, and then I will choose the winners randomly. Like four of you can get to bring home any of these oils. These are 15 ml bottles of Zelleroma oils, brand new, it's sealed. I can lala move it over. Yung mga winners last week, nakuha na nila yung oil nila. Except si Agatha, kasi sabi niya next time na sasabay pa yung order niya na shampoo bar. But the other two winners last time, they got their oils na. I can totally lala move it over. Maggie, what about oils for asthma? Okay, great for asthma. Bata ba ang gagamit or pang matanda? For pang matanda like myself, na may asthma, and it's, and it's actually triggered by my cats, but I can't do anything because I love my cats, right? Um, I like using this. Wait, where are my things? Okay, here. So I actually like using this. Yeah, and this is Breathe Again Blend by Young Living. I never thought I'd fall in love with this because I honestly don't like buying blends from other people as I know how to concoct my own blend. Hindi talaga ako bibili ng blend ng iba. But when I tried this, I was impressed. But it's super strong. It's not appropriate to be used by kids below 6. I wouldn't suggest. Kasi matapang siya. And marami siyang eucalyptus in it. And that's why it's not really recommended for kids. But for adults like me, you can totally use this. It's very, very good. It has like three eucalyptuses, different eucalyptuses, peppermints. It has copaiba, myrtle, rose, peppermint, bay leaf, and other things. Yeah. It's a scientific name. Siya. When you study the course, you just know them at first glance. It's part of what you learn in school. Pwede na sa'yo yung breed again. If you're 29 year old, okay na sa'yo to. Yan. Or, you can also use this one. This is from Zelleroma. What is best for you? Wait, I'll check there. Ito, Tigo 150 lang. From Zelleroma. Ha. You can use this. Peppermint, lemon, and rosemary. Yan. You can order this from them. But my favorite is this one, Peppermint, Bergamot, and Spearmint. This is also helpful. Okay din to pang asthma. So, depende na lang sa taste mo. Kung mas gusto mo yung mas minty. Ako mas gusto ko yung may bergamot. Other people may find the rosemary one better. But I like this. This is my personal favorite. Peppermint, Bergamot, and Spearmint. You can totally message them. They ship right away as well. How about for 9-year-old kid? And is, is it safe for cats? No, it's not safe for cats. I have cats here, like I have nine cats here in this room. They're sleeping. So I don't, I can't really diffuse things here unless I'm in my um, washroom. Kapag nagsishara ako, doon ako nagdi-diffuse kasi para away from them. Um, most essential oils are not safe for cats, sadly. That's why I don't really keep my essential oils here. I put them all at my office and I diffuse there to sawa. For a nine-year-old kid, pwede na ito. Kasi nine-year-old na naman siya. You can totally use Breathe again. Or you can use RC. It's newly launched in the Philippines. You can also use Raven. Um, personally, I like RC more. Whoa. I like RC more than Raven. Some cool things. Wait. I have RC here. It's 
sometimes I keep like these oils para pag emergency, like for my nephew and so this is newly launched here in the Philippines. I've had this even before pa, kasi I used to keep these for emergency purposes. Um, yeah, you can also use RC. I like RC over Raven. Yeah, next. Nako mag-add na tayo ngayon lang kayo nag-join. <laughs> okay, for 14 year old, okay lang ba ang breed again? Yes, totally safe for your 14 year old chas. Wala pa rin bukas na LVC, hindi ko pa rin napapadala yung diffuser mo. Wait. Okay, it's all ready. 10 minutes na lang, mag add na tayo. You're welcome, Chris. I miss you. I miss, like, a lot of you, yung mga nag attend ng workshop namin in person sa Quezon City. It's been a while since I had my last class there. Mas lalo na yung um, quarantine. Wala na. <laughs> okay, I, I just removed it from the from the power bank, so I can, I can put it back sa tripod. So na ako. Ayan. So before we end this session, we have our last ten minutes. Please shoot in your questions. Siguro mag start na ako mag draw. So isa isa hina natin to. Apat pa to eh. Apat. That smell. Okay. So, apat to. So, I'll just pick the first winner for this sweet orange. This is my favorite among all Zellaroma oils. Okay. So, pipili na ako. I'm not looking. I'm just scrolling through all your comments and the point lang ako randomly. So, good luck everyone. Sana matuwa kayo. <laughs> Kasi last time, may, may no fan. Hindi siya nanalo. Okay. Stop. Okay, congratulations, Sarah. Sarah Babes. It's Sarah Babes. Great, congrats. I'll type it down. It's Sarah Babes. Yeah. yeah. I'm typing it down. Para malinaw. So the winner for this sweet orange bottle is It's Sarah Babes. Um, PM me your name, shipping details, and your contact number later para ipalalamig natin to sa'yo. Okay? You can send in your questions. Sumabaw pa kayo so that may tatlo pa tayo. Hmm. Oh, Kaya. Sophie was really, really good in class. I remember her. So by the way, I was sharing with um, the class earlier na since meron tayo quarantine and even after quarantine, I've heard nga in the news na baka mag-extend na naman until June 15, possibly, or maybe July. We don't really know what's going on. We don't really know what's ahead of us. So we have decided that to call off all the workshops. We have stopped um, accepting enrollments. And we, all, we can only accommodate one-on-one -on -one classes. So if you guys are interested to have your one-on-one -on -one session with me, with oils, or with other interests, we can accommodate that. In fact, we were supposed to launch our jewelry making class this summer. I was actually having my training and my certification for that in Korea. And yun yung dapat na dadalihin ko dito, na na-cancel, dahil sa ECQ. But... <laughs> I can accommodate you guys. If you want me to uh, have a one-on-one -on -one class with you, I did upload a jewelry making video na on my YouTube channel. So yun, um, it's a modern way of silver smithing. You don't really need fancy equipments. I will teach you everything you have to know para you can make your own silver jewelry like this. And it's super cute. I made this. This is like my first activity in Korea. Yeah. So I can teach you how to make silver pieces on your own without any fancy um, equipments. Yan. Yun yung class na dapat ilo-launch namin ngayong May. Kaya lang na-cancel na. Pero okay lang. We can have one-on-one -on -one for that. Just let me know if you guys are interested. Like cats, not okay to diffuse around rabbits. Oh, oh my god, you have rabbits? Oh, so cute. I have a friend who can supply you whatever you need for your rabbits. But yes, like 
rabbits. They're very, very sensitive to cats. Um, um, hindi lang masyadong sensitive sa oils are horses and dogs. So, actually, that's the next specialization that I'm trying to take, um, animal aromatherapy. And at the same time, I'm still learning about um, cosmetics industry and aromatherapy. So, yun, that's my topic. That's the topic that I had with Amy Galper yesterday morning. I had the Zoom conference with her. And she was discussing about um, essential oils and I think modern beauty or something like that. I don't know. So, yun, I was asking the joiners kanina if you guys are interested to have like an online seminar. These, these are paid online seminar, online classes na meron kayo student skip na parang bibilihin din. Parang, para, is it, versus having like an in-class experience in sa bahay na lang. So we can do it remotely. Okay, so for Maggie, by the way, I was telling you about the candle making class. We have it here on Patreon. So I'll show you our Patreon. Yan, kita nyo ba? So you just log sa patreon.com slash dreams. This is also at our IG. Meron link tree doon. Multi-click mo rin from there. And then here are the like membership level. So at two per at two dollars, nandiyan yung IG live ko before. But now it's on public use until the quarantine ends. Um, and then we have different categories. You just click this. See all other levels. And when you click that, Alright, so you just click all eight levels. Okay. So. Okay, it's in here. Right, so it's patreon.com slash dreams, And then you just scroll it down. You can click see all eight levels. Yan, lumabas na siya. Okay, after that, you can scroll it down. And dito siya. So this is the candle making class. It's at $35. And this is the shampoo bar making class. So you just enroll here, but be sure to cancel before the month end or at the 30th of the month para hindi ka ma-charge ulit ng $35. Okay, so when you join that class, um, the class has, yan, magsasign up ka lang, blah, 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 and join and pay with your credit card. Tapos, meron siyang maker's notes. So I uploaded like a handout there that you can print. And then lahat ng mga tips ko and maker's notes, whatever notes that I need for you to, to learn, to know, so that you can execute the activity or the lesson properly. Same thing with the shampoo bars, naka-upload din yung maker's notes. So yun yung maganda sa Patreon, kasi you can upload notes there. Yan. And you can do it on your own. Tapos, the ingredients naman for candle making is very, very accessible here in our country. You can buy them off from Shopee. You can buy them off from the grocery. Yan nga yung tip ko. So, it's easy for you to do it at home. For a shampoo bar, I am in the process of preparing kits so that you guys can make it at home. Kasi may nag-request na rin na students na ganun na nga. Um, for soap making, we will do that also soon. Okay? But for now, let us just choose first the winner. Kung wala na kayo ibang questions, let us choose the winner. Dapat sumagot kayo kapag napick kayo. Kasi pag hindi kayo online right now, iba na ulit yung winner. So, certain ni babes. Kasi nandyan siya, nung napick siya. Okay, are you ready for the next winner? Wait, stop. Congratulations, Karen. Karen O. Austria. Are you here? I hope you're here. Wait, I'll type it down para... And I only have a few percent left sa battery. Congrats, Karen! Is she here? Yeah. So, you will win the next oil, which is this one. Yung isa pang sweet orange. Pipiliin ko na bago ako mabuso ng battery. Next winner! Wait, I'm scrolling. Stop. Wow! Congratulations, Agatha! You win Rosemary. Walang favoritism to. Swerte lang talaga siya. Nanalo siya ulit. Are you here, Agatha? Agatha. Ang haba ng name niya. <laughs> Simply. Okay. Christy. 
Karen. So, congrats, you won Rosemary Oil. Wow, and dyan pa si Karen. And finally, uh, this lavender oil. Yeah. Congrats, you, you now have two oils coming your way. That's your, um, that's your bonus for always attending my IG lives. Okay, next. Stop. Wait, nandito pa pa si Ray's Love You One. Ray's Love You One. Is she here? Wala. I'll count to three. Oh. Ray's Love You One. Is she here? If I, if I tag you ba, nagkaka-alert kayo, wala. Like, pag tinipe ko, kay, nagkaka-alert kayo. For example, kanina I type down Karen and Agatha. Nagka-alert ba kayo sa Instagram? Ah, okay. Raise love you one? Wala? I'm waiting. If she's not online, I'm gonna give this to another person. Para fair. Kailangan nandyan kayo for you to claim your prize. I don't think she's here. Ibilang ako. One. Present yourself or remain silent. <laughs> Two. Nako, wala yata siya. Raise love you one. Three. Iba na lang. Four. Wala pang sumasago. Five. Wala na. Next. Para may chance yung ibang online pa. I see ten people here. You guys deserve this. Okay, wait. I'm scrolling again. Stop. Wow! Congratulations! Danes? Danes or Marie? Are you here? Danes or Marie? I have 20 seconds! Reveal if you're here! The next IG Live will be next week, hopefully, and the oils will be sponsored by Casa de Lorenzo. So they've already um, reached out. Three oils will be coming from them, and we will be giving away. Five seconds! There, you're here. Congratulations, Daisy Marie, and thank you so much for joining. Bye.